And did you, recording the record, did you do this? Do you have a home studio? Did you go somewhere to record it? Like, what, what was the vibe like on that? Well, I mean, in, you know, in a perfect world, I would always record basic tracks with a group of guys in a real room with a real engineer on a real board and all that stuff. Um, and uh, But modern recording techniques, modern digital audio recording gives you so much flexibility. Now I have a great home studio. It's small, but it's efficient. And, um, you know, through the pandemic, I was releasing songs and nobody was going to studios together. You know, everything, as you remember, was put on hold. So at that point, I was really glad to have a home studio environment where I could just be in my flip flops and get a lot of work done. And it was kind of spoiling too, because I really love interaction, as I was saying before, between musicians, that thing that happens when you play live, that's something you almost cannot, you cannot sort of imitate when you no. do all of the tracks yourself, one after another. It's still you responding to you with you, you know, yes. and it's, it's more fun to do it with a group. But, you know, I can kind of kind of have uh, a sense of fun playing bass after playing the guitar, then programming the drums and adding another guitar, doing a lead vocal. It does become a bit of fun. I've done that kind of recording since I was very young. So I love doing it. And in this case, uh, I started as a drummer, but I'm no longer a good drummer. I, in my mind, I'm a really good drummer. Uh, but I can... <laughs> Well, I can program drums pretty well and get a good idea of what it should sure. be. So I'll do a lot of the basic track work at home with program drums that sound good. And then I'll uh, send that session to one of my great drummer friends, Abe Laboreal Jr. or Eric Eldenius or Pete Thomas from Elvis Costello's band. You know, and uh, and they'll... It's good to have friends like that. <laughs> it, it really is. And then, yeah. you know, often go to their studios and sit with them as they do it. Or, you know, in, in the case of uh, a recent song, they'll do it and just send me the session back. I'll go like, oh, my God, it's like opening up a Christmas present. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that that can be fun. I mean, I, I think we all did some of that, you know, not in the same room with people during the pandemic, you know, trying to find the the replacement for that interaction. And you're right. Like you get that opening up a Christmas present because you don't know what it is, but you don't get to respond in real time. You don't you know, I mean, it's it's that that. Yeah, it's playing with people is 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 better. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah man. Yeah. 